The whole tech world is buzzing about Tesla's Optimus Gen 3 robot. And after digging into the technical specs, demo videos, and Tesla's latest earnings call, it's clear, something big is shifting. This isn't the wobbly toddler-like robot we saw last year. Optimus Gen 3 is a serious upgrade. It doesn't just walk upright like a human. It now features a 22 degree of freedom hand that's already in production, can recharge itself without any human input, and most impressively, it learns like a human. We're not talking about traditional, pre-programmed responses. This is real-time learning. What stands out is that Tesla isn't just building a robot to do chores. They're laying the groundwork for a fully intelligent robotic workforce. The scale they're aiming for, a future fleet of Tesla bots, is almost beyond imagination. But here's the big question. Is the world ready for this? Or are we just seeing slick marketing wrapped in high-tech hardware? Let's dive in. Welcome to Next Gen Theories. For Tesla, and for Elon Musk, this moment feels like a turning point. Musk can't keep being 3% CEO and 97% Dogecoin mascot. His recent step back from crypto and political ventures points to a clear realignment of priorities. By shifting focus, Musk seems to be doubling down on scalable technologies like robotics and AI, fields that could have an even bigger economic impact than electric vehicles. This shift aligns with Tesla's current hiring spree. There are now more than 80 open positions tied to the Optimus project, spanning engineering, manufacturing, and AI development. The urgency is real. Tesla's targeting a production goal of 5,000 to 12,000 Optimus units by the end of 2025. So, what's actually changed with Optimus Gen 3? Just a year ago, Tesla's humanoid robot looked like it was still learning to walk. Knees bent, back hunched, and movement that was slow and unsure. But in 2025, it's an entirely different story. Now, Optimus walks with smooth, confident strides, upright posture, and a natural heel-to-toe motion, complete with arm swings. It's no longer stumbling, it's strolling, like someone enjoying a Sunday walk. What's truly groundbreaking isn't just how it moves, but how it learned to move that way. Optimus doesn't walk using hand-coded choreography. Instead, it learned its stride through reinforcement learning, the same advanced AI technique used in high-end simulations. In simple terms, Tesla let the AI teach itself how to walk like a human. As Elon Musk put it, Optimus is powered by real-world AI. The same kind of intelligence Tesla has been refining in its self-driving cars. What they've learned from training AI on the road is now being applied to robotics. This marks a major turning point. Optimus is no longer just a functional machine. It's a learning machine. Now here's something interesting. Most robots walk with bent knees. Why? Because it's easier and more stable. Take Atlas, for example, one of the most advanced humanoid robots out there. If you watch it walk, run, or jump, you'll notice its knees never fully straighten. That slightly crouched stance helps absorb impact, stay agile, and keep balance, especially on rough or uneven terrain. Watch any of Boston Dynamics demos, like their parkour routines, or the viral Do You Love Me dance, and you'll see this bent knee strategy in action. It's effective and practical. But Tesla chose a harder path. Optimus walks with straight knees, like a real person. This demands a much higher level of mechanical precision and actuator control. And this is where Tesla's engineering really stands out. Their custom-built actuators, which are now approaching biological smoothness, allow Optimus to move with real balance and elegance, not just brute force stabilization. As Musk said, accurate actuators accelerate automation. It's not just about getting the robot to move, it's about making it move naturally, in human environments. Smooth, reliable motion is key. It opens up the potential for real-world tasks, from lifting boxes and opening doors to performing repetitive tasks that require finesse and balance. And what truly sets Tesla apart isn't just the hardware, it's the intelligence running the show. As Musk pointed out, Optimus has a real brain. It's powered by the same real-world AI that drives Tesla's full self-driving system, trained on billions of miles of real-world driving data. That means Optimus doesn't just mimic human movement, 
It understands and adapts to the environment around it. Optimus is trained on real-world miles, not just controlled lab simulations. Its AI was shaped in unpredictable, dynamic environments, where things don't go by the book. That's what makes it different. It can perceive, adapt, and respond to the world around it, whether it's navigating a cluttered living room or adjusting to changes on a factory assembly line. This isn't a robot following pre-written scripts, it's thinking on the move. To really understand the significance, think about how Tesla's autonomous vehicles operate. They're trained to handle real life, often chaotic, driving situations. Picture a pedestrian suddenly stepping onto the road, or a car swerving into another lane without signaling. Tesla's system recognizes and reacts to these edge cases in real time. That same kind of AI now powers Optimus. And Tesla didn't stop with walking. They gave Optimus hands. But not just any hands. These new hands have 22 degrees of freedom, allowing for incredibly precise manipulation. We're talking about much more than just gripping an object. Optimus can adjust its grip, rotate items, and even catch things in motion. To pull that off, the robot needs more than just hardware. It takes vision, split-second processing, and seamless coordination. Imagine trying to catch a ball. You have to track its trajectory, calculate exactly where it will land, and move to intercept it, all within milliseconds. That's a powerful mix of visual perception, predictive modeling, and motor control. Tesla's 22 degree of freedom hand and forearm is now officially in production. Optimus isn't just learning to walk anymore, it's learning to catch. And honestly, it's pretty impressive. These hands are no longer prototypes. Tesla has moved into full-scale production. They're being shipped, trained, and tested in real factory conditions, taking on more complex tasks every day. By the end of 2024, Tesla officially introduced this new robotic hand, designed with 22 degrees of freedom, which comes remarkably close to the 27 degrees found in a human hand. That's a major milestone. It significantly expands what Optimus can do, especially in roles that require fine motor skills and delicate manipulation. According to Tesla's development team, the new hand uses a tendon-driven actuation system, where the actuators are located in the forearm rather than inside the hand itself, just like in the human body. This design reduces the weight at the end of the limb, making the hand more agile and allows for better force control, both of which are critical for precision tasks, like picking up fragile items or using tools. Optimus is now capable of handling objects of different shapes, sizes, and weights, all without dropping or damaging them. In a live demo from November 2024, Tesla showed Optimus catching a flying tennis ball. That might sound simple to us, but for a robot, it's a huge achievement. Pulling this off requires a highly integrated system that combines computer vision, real-time trajectory prediction, and ultra-fast motor control, all happening in just a few hundred milliseconds. That's about as fast as human reflexes. To put this into perspective, most industrial robotic arms, like the ones from KUKA or ABB, have only four to six degrees of freedom. That makes them great for repetitive, rigid tasks, but they simply can't do things like gently hold a cup turn a key, or fold a shirt. Optimus, on the other hand, has 22 degrees of freedom. Each finger and wrist can move independently, which brings it surprisingly close to the dexterity of a real human hand. Tesla estimates the robot can achieve a positional accuracy of less than two millimeters per movement. This level of capability isn't just about mechanics. It's driven by AI that's been trained on more than 1.2 billion miles of real-world driving data. That includes millions of edge cases, allowing Optimus to not only see and sense its surroundings, but also to interpret and understand them. Looking ahead, Optimus's advanced hand isn't just going to be used for picking things up. It's set to become the backbone of high-precision robotic manipulation, handling everything from product packaging and clean room maintenance to assembling electronics and even assisting with elder care. These are areas where traditional machines often fall short or fail entirely. Weighing in at 138 pounds, Optimus is powered by a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery pack based on Tesla's high density 4680 cell technology, the same cutting edge battery used in the Cybertruck. That means it's built for endurance. 
Optimus can run continuously for 8 to 10 hours on a single charge. Even more impressive? It fully recharges in just 10 minutes thanks to the rapid charging capabilities of the 4,680 cells, far ahead of what's currently standard in the industry. Tesla didn't just aim for raw power, they focused on energy efficiency and density. The result is a robot that's lightweight, agile, and cost-effective. And when it comes to recharging, Optimus doesn't need a human to plug it in. It handles that on its own. When Optimus's battery runs low, it doesn't wait around for someone to plug it in. Instead, it uses its rear cameras and Tesla's auto park technology to locate the nearest charging dock. Then, with centimeter level precision, it backs in, powers down its motors to save energy, and resumes work automatically once fully charged. No cables, no downtime, no human needed. During Tesla's Q1 2025 earnings call, Elon Musk confirmed that Optimus has officially entered mass production at the Fremont factory. But Tesla isn't just building another single-purpose factory robot. They're creating a whole platform. This platform combines real-world AI, simulation-based learning, ultra-precise movement, energy-efficient systems, and autonomous maintenance. And thanks to that flexibility, Optimus is no longer limited to the assembly line. Its applications are expanding into a wide variety of real-world environments. Take warehousing, for example. Optimus can navigate crowded aisles, pick and pack products with accuracy, and carry out repetitive tasks for hours without needing retraining. In retail, it can shift seamlessly between helping customers, restocking shelves, and monitoring inventory in real time. At home, especially in caregiving roles, Optimus takes on a gentler role. Helping with daily tasks, offering companionship, and providing extra safety for the elderly and vulnerable. Even in security, Optimus brings value. It can patrol autonomously, detect unusual activity in real time, and maintain a constant, non-intrusive presence that adds peace of mind without getting in the way. What makes Optimus truly special isn't just what it can do, it's how it adapts. This isn't a robot built for one job. Optimus learns, improves, and redeploys like a human worker. It represents a completely new kind of intelligent labor. Mobile, self-maintaining, and endlessly reusable. Unlike traditional automation, which is often rigid and locked into one role, Optimus is built for flexibility. It learns new tasks, adapts to new environments, and doesn't need constant reprogramming or supervision. Inside Tesla's own factories, Optimus is already working, picking parts, inspecting components, adjusting to workflow changes, without the need for constant code updates. And when the day shift ends, it can take on an entirely different role at night. This is scalable automation, cost-effective, adaptable, and always improving. Just as Tesla reimagined what a car could be, Optimus is now redefining what a robot can do. Optimus is more than just a robot. It's a redefinition of what a worker can be. Tesla's vision may sound bold and futuristic, but it's grounded in real, production-ready hardware and AI software that's already been tested in the real world. While skeptics continue to argue that humanoid robots are either impractical or still years away from viability, Tesla has already placed its bet, and it's building that future right now. So why should you care before considering bringing Tesla's robot into your home? Even amid market pressure and shifting industry trends, Tesla's AI and robotics strategy is still winning the confidence of major analysts and investors. Morgan Stanley, for example, has maintained its overweight rating on Tesla, TSLA stock, a strong sign of their belief in Tesla's long-term potential, particularly in AI and robotics. One of the firm's leading analysts points out that humanoid robots could transform not just industries, but entire economies. By introducing robotic labor at scale, we could see real impacts on economic markers like GDP per capita, retirement age, and dependency ratios. In other words, this technology could fundamentally shift how we define and measure productivity at a national level. Tesla's push into robotics is no longer just an offshoot of its automotive business. It's shaping up to be a major economic force. Even with a recent dip in vehicle deliveries, Morgan Stanley's continued support shows that Tesla's value is increasingly tied to its work in AI and robotics. 
In fact, the firm believes Optimus has the potential to disrupt up to 30% of global labor, a market opportunity they estimate could be worth a staggering $30 trillion. To back this ambition, Tesla is taking concrete steps. The company has filed new patents focused on robotic dexterity and autonomous learning, evidence of its commitment to pushing the boundaries of what robots can do. Supporting all of this is Tesla's Dojo supercomputer, custom built to train neural networks not just for self-driving, but for robotics as well. Dojo gives Tesla a massive advantage in accelerating the learning and capabilities of Optimus by processing real-world data at an unprecedented scale. Tesla's wide range of AI applications gives it a major infrastructure edge when it comes to accelerating AI development. Market watchers see these moves not as short-term hype, but as signals of a serious long-term strategy, one that could unlock economic value far beyond just the automotive world. While many traditional manufacturers are still figuring out how to pivot into AI, Tesla's early investments and bold roadmap are increasingly seen as strategic, not speculative. One of the clearest signs of this shift is Tesla's recent recruitment push for the Optimus Humanoid Robot Project. This marks a major turning point, from concept and prototypes to full-scale production. As of April 2025, Tesla has over 80 job openings related to Optimus across the US, highlighting the company's commitment to making the robot a key part of its future technology portfolio. This report takes a closer look at the scale of Tesla's hiring efforts, what the roles reveal about the technical direction of Optimus, and what it all means for the broader humanoid robotics space. Optimus-related job postings began surfacing in early 2025, showing Tesla's clear intention to attract top-tier talent in manufacturing, engineering, and software. As of now, around 80 open positions are listed on Tesla's careers page. These roles are distributed across major locations, Palo Alto and Fremont in California, Sparks, Nevada, Austin, Texas, and Draper, Utah. California remains the core hub of activity, with most roles centered on robotic modeling, mechanical systems, and thermal engineering. Interestingly, a unique listing in Draper calls for a data labeler, underscoring the importance of training data and machine learning in teaching Optimus how to understand and interact with its environment. This nationwide hiring effort ties directly into Tesla's existing infrastructure, tapping into gigafactories and R&D centers to bring Optimus into the larger manufacturing ecosystem. Even Tesla's summer internship program for 2025 reflects this focus, with opportunities in mechanical design, robotics, and thermal systems aimed at building the next generation of AI and robotics talent. So, with all this energy and investment, why hasn't Optimus rolled out at scale outside of Tesla's own factories? If it's truly as advanced as the company claims, why hasn't it been deployed more broadly? That's the big question. Are we witnessing a real robotics revolution or just a polished demo backed by clever marketing? Thanks for watching our video. If you're as excited about Tesla Optimus and EV innovation as we are, don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to Next Gen Theories. Hit the bell so you never miss out on the latest updates and insights. We appreciate your support.